Hey everyone, it's Jordan here. Today I'm going to show you how to mod your Wii U, specifically the virtual Wii portion of your Wii U. So for those who don't know, you can actually take your Wii U and boot it into Wii mode. Um, you can do that several ways by pushing the menu, the Wii menu on your Wii in your home screen, or you can hold down the B button on your gamepad once you uh, start your Wii. Um, so basically, once you download the files, you'll see them in the top menu, or I'll post the link down below. Uh, just download the files and copy them, extract it directly to your SD card, so extract to your SD card, and format your SD card using uh, on Windows, you can just use the built-in utilities and format it as uh, FAT32. And on a Mac, you can format it using the disk utilities, uh, MS-DOS, and FAT. So basically what you will be getting, you'll get USB loader. So that will play uh, GameCube games, uh, Wii games, uh, your, your NAN games and all that stuff. This will be on a USB as the title is kind of intuitive, USB loader. A Wii Flow, this will be a fancy GUI that will have all your Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and all that stuff. And configurable USB loader, so that's basically the uh, same thing as the first one, really. Um, these here, this is your Nintendo emulator. It's just a text-based, uh, so if any of these fails, these here should always work. They're not as pretty as these ones, uh, but they should always work. Here's your, your Super Nintendo. Here's your Game Boy that has all your Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, your N64, uh, Sega Genesis, and your PlayStation 1 or PSX. Uh, compatibility for this PSX is not very high compared to these ones. And same thing with uh, N64. The compatibility is very low. Only 18 games work. Um, so yeah, your compatibility will be relatively low for this. Um, so let's look at Wii Flow. This will be your pretty one. This will have all the nice cover art and uh, all the banners and all that fancy stuff that you'll like. Um, I use this one a lot. But like I said, at any point in time, if this fails, you can always well re-download the files again if you want or just use the text-based ones I showed you. So here you'll see the Nintendo. Again, we got 780 games. All the fancy cover art, uh, front and back. Uh, if you want to play a game, just come down here. Click on the game and come down to the right. And that'll appear. Um, so that's your Nintendo. Super Nintendo, same thing. Uh, Sega, uh, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Your main games are arcade games and your GameCube and your Wii games, that'll be on your uh, USB drive, your external USB drive. You won't be getting any of these uh, from me. You'll be, basically you'll get all the bottom ones here and uh, some WiiWare games, but for the most part, um, these files are pretty large and I'm not gonna include them uh, in this build. You can download them from uh, uh, emuparadise.com, so that's uh, emu, Paradise. So let's push home to get out of here. Push home twice and exit. And let's go to system menu. So that's Wii Flow, that's your pretty one. Um, you can we can take a look to see what games I have here if you want. So only have a small USB uh, drive here, 128 gigabyte uh, USB, and that's plugged into the very uh, uh, the top port uh, when it's facing down. 
So you can see I got several GameCube, uh, some Wii games, basically anything I owned really. And clicking that icon, you can select WiiWare, GameCube, NAN games, Emu NAN, all that stuff. All right, so that's that. And here's your text-based games. Again, if Wii Flow or any of the other ones fail for some reason, if you change a setting and you mess something up and you can't force it to load, uh, either download the files again or uh, use these text bases. Um, so there you go. Super Nintendo will look exactly the same. I'll show you the Game Boy Advance. Now this has several directories. Again, it's list based, so I'll leave it like this. And if you want to go to, so click here on the on the G A M B A T T E file. So here you'll have the Game Boy. So this is all your Game Boys. This is your Game Boy Color. You want to go back, go up one level and go up one level again and your Game Boy Advance are in a different folder as well so again go up so I typically always leave it here so the next thing you'll get you'll get uh, your N uh, 18 or so uh, N64 games So here you'll go load ROM and then load from SD card and these are the uh, games you'll have. I have a couple of versions. Uh, I just like to keep them and I uh, typically always copy them over. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Alright, so that's that one. So typically to quit, you either push the uh, home button or the one and two together or the minus and the plus together. Uh, Sega Genesis. Okay, and then you just go load game. And so here you'll have Mega Drive. Go back, Mega Drive. Push the home to go back here. Uh, push the home again. Alright, so I push the home again and let's exit that. Exit system menu. So that's a brief view of what you're going to get. Um, so I'll basically show you how to get this now. I'm going to just go back to the Wii menu. So the very first thing you're going to do is download these files and extract to an SD card. Let's format it to FAT32. On Windows and on a Mac it's uh, MS-DOS FAT32. 